Hello everyone, George Creamer here, missional pastor, and today I want to help define what a missional outpost is. And in order to do this, I want to use an analogy. For those who, who do not know, an analogy is a comparison between two things to help clarify and explain a topic or a subject. I will use the example of a military encampment to help conceptualize what a missional outpost is. I will list five traits of a military encampment that could help us to visualize what a missional outpost would look like and how it would function. The first trait would be short term. A military encampment is not built for long term purposes like a fort or a base. Instead, it seeks to provide a short term staging ground since the home base is far off. In the same way, a missional outpost avoids intense church programming and activities. This will free God's people to spend the majority of time in their workplaces and neighborhoods. Heavy programming can absorb members into the internal life of the church. It can cause an isolating and distancing effect from the places we are called to reach with the good news. The second trait of a military encampment is that it's uh, fluid and flexible. Uh, an encampment can easily be disassembled and relocated in comparison to a fortified static structure. The flexible nature of an outpost in a hot zone is, es is essential, especially when a more strategic location has been discovered or if its position has been compromised by the enemy. Also, communication is key in and outside of the outpost. Soldiers can communicate with one another for support and reinforcements when needed. In the same way, a missional outpost is, is fluid and flexible and can easily adapt to new challenges and opportunities that may present themselves. In a fast-paced, technological, and unpredictable world, staying fluid will allow the community to adapt to the ongoing changes in life. A missional outpost can uh, last for only a season, and once the purpose for which it was created is complete, it does not have to continue to function. The third trait is that an encampment is cost effective. Uh, maintaining an encampment does not require a large amount of financial backing because there are no permanent buildings to maintain and very little overhead to pay as compared to a traditional fortified base. It is intended to be low maintenance, a lightweight. In similar way, missional outposts develop organically in a local community and typically meet in a home or workplace setting. The bulk of the finances are allocated for a need that may arise in the community rather than spend it on the church's internal affairs. The fourth trait of a military encampment is that uh, the objective of, of soldiers to withdraw to the encampment is mainly to recharge and restock. Uh, the objective is not to keep incoming soldiers uh, for a lengthy stay. It's a replenishing station for a speedy turnaround. Soldiers can refill their depleted ammo, get medical attention, and nourish their bodies so they can go back out into the, the battlefield. Uh, a missional outpost is like an encampment where believers can be replenished and recharged so they can also go back out into the world as Christ ambassadors uh, with renewed vitality. Believers come together to encourage listen and pray for one another and the last trait of a, a military encampment is, is it's a equipping station an encampment is an equipping station and provides the necessary tools and armament so that soldiers will be successful in battle as it becomes increasingly more difficult to be Christ representatives in the public sector believers need an equipping station like a missional outpost, where they can gather to debrief, reassess, and to train. A missional outpost is a learning community where God's people are, are equipped with the tools they need to live victorious missional lives in their own context. We can say that we as believers are also in a war, but against a different enemy that desires to kill, steal, and destroy lives. 
but we are sent to spread the gospel into the hardest to reach places in our society and show the way to abundant life in Christ. And that's a little bit about a missional outpost. I hope this video has caused you uh, to rethink the use of sacred space and the way the church gathers as believers. God bless.